today is kind of a pretty big day. Today is a day that I get to start something that I've been dreaming about doing since I was like 13 years old. And that dream is for me, living in a van. I've always had this fascination since I was a little kid with adventure and freedom and the wild. And to me, the van life was the most close thing that I could find to anything like that in the adult world. Today I have a meeting with a guy about possibly purchasing my first car, my first van, and my first home, technically. Okay, so I want to talk just a little bit about how to know whether the van life is the right life for you. I want to give you five things to think about before you also consider to live the van life. Okay, so the first thing to consider, which I believe would be kind of a deal breaker, is are you somebody that's okay with being alone? Now, the van life, it can get extremely lonely. There are ways to make it work. The van life community is a much bigger one than people know. And fortunately, with online meetup stuff and, and different ways to get connected. Okay, so the second thing to consider is, are you a naturally fearful person? So if you're naturally fearful, I would say that the van life is not best for you, but if you are somebody that kind of enjoys danger, kind of enjoys a little bit of the edgier sort of things in life, then I would say that it is a fantastic sort of lifestyle because there's a lot of uncertainty, you know, kind of where you're staying, what's going to be happening, what tomorrow will bring. Those are sort of angsty sort of things. So if you're somebody that worries a lot about the future, this isn't the kind of life for you. Now a third thing to consider is are you somebody that is naturally healthy? Like, are you somebody that doesn't have a whole lot of health problems? Because in the van life, it's not always known whether you're going to be close to a, like, hospital or something, or there's not really somebody around to take care of you. Fourth thing to consider, I would say, is what does your financial state look like? Are you somebody that can afford to purchase a van, renovate a van, live on the road and not be too concerned about finances? Because money is an issue. For me, if I'm worrying about money, it is much more difficult for me to really live in the moment and enjoy the experience. So if I can find a way to create financial freedom, if I can find a way to work online or something like that, that would be the best scenario for somebody looking to live in their van. For the fifth and final thing I think to consider would be like, are you somebody that can easily let go of things? Are you somebody that's okay with not being comfortable? Are you somebody that's okay with maybe saying goodbye to the friendships that you've had for a time, not forever? But are you somebody that can naturally just move on from things easily? Which is a very good and healthy kind of skill to practice. Not to, you know, move on entirely, but can let go of your old and past lifestyle. Alright, since we got those five things out of the way, now I'm going to go meet up with this guy and check out this fan and maybe see if it's the one for me. So let's go do it. Direction. Austin, see. Yeah, right here is good. This is it? Yeah. What, do you have a name for her? Uh, so, my my friends called it Hambone. Hambone? They look, said it looks like a piece of ham. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why. These seats seem like they were after like market, like they are not the original 80s seats. Manual windows. Sweet. Sweet. I like the paneling and the flooring. So you've said you've been living here for about a year? I've lived in it for a year. All right. Yeah, so I was blocked by stuff. I had a desk here. Yeah. My dad came all the way over to here. I, oh, good thing I didn't leave that. 
<laughs> um, I built these panels. They're super DIY. Uh, okay. I had a lot of plans for this van when I bought it. Yeah. Um, I wasn't planning on staying in Marietta. I was planning on traveling. Mm -hmm. And then got a good job and met a girl. All oh, right. <laughs> yeah. So That'll they, do it. Yeah. So that I just lived in it at my work's parking lot for a year. Mm -hmm. um, so I, as far as converting it, you know, it's not... It's not really too far into the Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll text you probably today or tomorrow. All right, so let you know what my yeah, answer is. If you want that bed, you can have it. If not, I'll take it out. All right, <laughs> sounds good. Cool, Thanks, man. Sean. All right, you guys take it easy. You too. Bye.